Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to a new series on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a co-op with a subscriber, Discord moderator, and Patreon, Gur. Say hello, Gur. Hello. Hi, Gur. We're talking through the Discord chat. Uh, link to that Discord should be in the description below if you ever want to join in other multiplayer games. And the theme of today's uh, campaign is that I am going to be playing as Ireland, Gur will be playing as the United States, and we will be attempting to form the Irish American Coalition, which is a several step process, most important of which is that he has to win, well it's a combination of me having to take the correct focuses at the right times, and he also has to win the American Civil War. As far as I know, this is going to be a YouTube first, I've never heard of anybody pulling this off, I've never seen anybody pull this off, so you should be in for quite a special treat. Uh, shall we go ahead and set up, then, Gur? Oh, you've actually... I, I assume you didn't need to do anything. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> okay, so so for a little bit of context for people who didn't catch the live stream, we had a connection issue in which we tried to live stream this initially. So the only thing that's passed, though, is we're just a couple months into the game. I've taken the Irish Economic Advancement Act, and, uh, Gur, what focuses have you taken? I've taken nothing. It's really <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Ireland and the United States both have kind of slow first years. And look at that, we're going on four speed. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm flying through four speed right now. So yeah, I guess I guess just us trying to live stream, this was the problem. So unfortunately it won't be a live stream, but I'm sure people will appreciate it later. It's at least better than doing nothing. Yeah. And uh, I think people are going to love the thumbnail. I found this fantastic picture of Uncle Sam and, like, a leprechaun toasting with each other. <laughs> so it's uh, that's that's going to be a great thumbnail. Yeah. Hey, even the voice connection sounds much better. Oh, man, we're even... Oh, there we go. Darn. What? What is it? Oh, no, I found with some people I'm able to actually run it on speed 5. Uh, oh man, the Detroit Red Wings win the 36 Stanley Cup. And Detroit was promptly burned to the ground by its own people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but at least they have the Stanley Cup. I yes. Jeez, oh, you saying that reminds me of the Super Bowl coming up. I'm not even going to watch this year. I'm a, I'm a Cowboys fan, so Patriots versus Eagles just makes me sad. Oh. Yeah, I, I can't say I'm a big fan of the Patriots. Me neither, and yet I almost figure if one of them has to win, it has to be the Patriots, because people will die in Philadelphia if Phil Philadelphia wins. <laughs> They'll kill each other. Sorry, any Philly fans watching. I don't know. My, my uh, dad has indoctrinated me into hating the Patriots, so... <laughs> well... Maybe if New England breaks off, you can drop a nuke on Boston. Oh, yes. Uh, After we evacuate know, all the actually... Irish. After we evacuate of the course. Irish. Of course. We don't want your people to die. Yeah. Unless, of course, they're Patriots fans, but... Mm -hmm. I don't think the NFL was even around back right now. No, I don't I don't think so either. I think foot, American football had been invented, but not not the NFL. Uh, oh yes, I'm loving how fast we're going. Okay, so so just to review what my strategy was here, I'm going for the Irish Economic Advancement Act. I already uh, put a little bit more popularity towards Michael Collins with the event pop up there. Then I'm going to do the immigration reform because my understanding of how immigration reform works with Ireland is that. Um, I choose how many refugees I take from foreign wars and want to get as many as possible so I can increase my population since right now I only have 55,000 men in reserve. After that, I'll start taking the American focuses. And you even lose some uh, manpower with uh, your send the IRA focus? Uh, yes, I think I do. Um, yes, yeah, send the IRA... The Civil War has to have started, and yeah, I send you 10,000 manpower or so. So I'm letting, I'm saying it's a new beginning for all. The world will know that we are encouraging immigration. 
Um, but it's okay because you can recruit the fighting men and get 3% recruitable population. Yeah, I could go for refugee employment, but no, 3% recruitable population is much better. Uh, and like I said, I don't know the Irish tree super good. It's very large, but I have seen screenshots that show they can get their recruitable population to at least in the 50s, even in the 60%, so it's it's pretty crazy. Dispersed or concentrated? No, we're going dispersed. Also looks like you also get a lot of like small recruitable population factor ones. <clears throat> yeah, and I think there's a one if I went with the syndicalists, uh, I can get female soldiers, which is an additional twenty five percent recruitable population factor. Mm. Now the main thing I'm trying to figure out is if I want to start working on mobile warfare or superior firepower. Um Oh yes, you see, Ireland will be the armored side of our alliance. That's what I was thinking. I don't have a ton of infantry. I mean, I don't have a ton of manpower. I'd probably say superior firepower, but that's not the most interesting thing to go with. Yeah, Irish tanks would sound much more fun. Think Plus, think of all the funny names I could give them. Oh, yes. I didn't know you could make tanks out of potatoes. Yeah, there you go. Like, the potato jokes. Uh, if anybody watching, if you're not ready for potato jokes, you better just turn it off now. <laughs> or actually, no, keep what it running. Keep watching. About keep about watching, but just walk away. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hmm. Uh, but I bet you can't wait till you get start getting problems about Ulster. Oh, that's going to be great, just taking negative political power all the time for nothing, bunch of jerks. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick with Collins. Because uh, you said you're going American mm -hmm. Cincinnati route, right? Yep. And so I think Collins could perhaps parallel MacArthur because he, he's already sort of the dictator, but I think eventually he can let elections happen. Well, there's going to be an election next year, but I'm going to rig it. But then eventually I'll I'll let democracy reign. So wait, if I go, um, what is it, the military junta, uh -huh. do I, uh, MacArthur doesn't die with that. It's only if you go the American Caesar. Right, I think so. Although, America, uh, him dying, it's it happens, it doesn't happen a ton. It does happen, though. Hmm. Uh, okay. I don't know, I've just heard horror stories of it happening like a few weeks after the Civil War. Uh-huh. Yeah, I get that. Uh, it's never happened to me personally, though, um, so I couldn't. I couldn't say. Um, trying to figure out how that triggers is one of the reasons why I haven't done a dedicated um, MacArthur guide uh, for a Kaiserite guide, because uh, I don't want to put out information that's not correct. Yeah. I'm actually trying to. I'm actually looking on my phone right now because I think I have. I think I once made note of a chart, like figuring out who gets elected, how, depending on which route you go. Mm. Okay, yeah, here we go. If you go Cincinnati, oh, that's right. Okay, so if you go Cincinnati, interesting thing is that you can eventually, um, after a couple of elections, elect a guy called Harriman, who is also a potential leader in um, New England. So mm. it, it always made me wonder if it would be possible to have him run New England and the United States at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I guess that could be possible. But your first choice would be between um, Quentin Roosevelt and uh, Barkley. But but that's that's after the Civil War. That's way down the line. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, 
Let's yeah. focus on the now. It's just if you go Quentin Roosevelt, you get like 32% popularity. Mm-hmm. Um, which isn't really that good. No, it isn't. What, 32% popularity? <laughs> no, not really it isn't. I think I'm just right in the middle right now. I'm at, I'm at 46, so I'm just at medium. All right, we're coming up on September. Boy, there's nothing happening in the world. Except for the it's Mongolian. It's a pretty chill world right now. Yeah. All right, I just created some ancestral ties with you, so your opinion of me should have gone up by 50. Oh, hold on. I still don't really care about you. I, it doesn't say, like, I have a really good opinion of you. Uh, if I'm seeing that you're at plus 70 overall. Yeah, but doesn't it... It usually, like, shows people up as green, right? To show, like, oh, they really like this person. Oh, the on the diplomatic one? Yeah, yeah, yeah it that, is plus 70. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing... I'm not seeing anything there now. Well, now I'm going to befriend you and we will establish some official relations of trade. It says you're going to get an event, so I'll let you know when it's about to fire. Yeah, it, it gives me like uh, minus 1% uh, consumer goods. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's something like that. Oh, yeah. Irish econo economic health minus <laughs> 1%. <laughs> oh, yeah. That... That'll reduce my uh, consumer goods from 85% to 84. Yeah, maybe you'll get one back. Because remember, I'm already trading you one factory. Yes, I, that's the only reason I have factories is because people are trading with me. Mm -hmm. It's all that oil. Mainly steel, although Canada is trading oil with me. Yeah, you know that's the the it's it's because you got because Texas is so damn strong and so is California. That's why whenever I play as the Pacific states, I try to focus on taking Texas, and I'll and I'll mm -hmm. like I don't even care if I don't get like Idaho or Nevada as long as I can get Texas because then I've got huge amounts of the world's oil and uh, it gives me more factories and puts me in a better position. Plus all the building slots. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see our yeah. trade route. It's going from uh, oh. Kanatka, and then it lands in Boston. Perfect. Oh, well, because they also have to get Irish back before the nuke drop. Yeah, they're like, we gotta go, we gotta go. It's like, what's happening? I had a vision. There's like some old irish priest is like, there was a i saw a vision fire consuming the city <laughs> you need to go yeah. <laughs> Let's see. but you know what it's okay because you can grow potatoes again in ireland yep. so they can come back famine is long over actually when i visited dublin um recently it was it was interesting they had uh, on the port at uh, the port of dublin they had this monument that was actually given by Canadians. Um, it was a memorial uh -huh. to the Irish famine. Uh, but I thought so. so I thought just thought that was interesting that it was from Canadians. <laughs> well, you know what? The Canadians are usually nice people. So. Yep. Uh, but the Canadians will not be our friends today. No. Because they dared to take Irish people in New England. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's why That's why when the war starts, if they try to seize it, I guess you, like, you know, you'll let it go, and then we can... Our Kazai Bell would be that we're trying to liberate them. Yes. Liberate Americans and Irish alike from uh -huh. the evil entente rule. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to start spamming out National Guard divisions because I haven't been making artillery, so I can't make my infantry divisions. 
Yeah, same. I'm just working on making militias units, just militia, you, malicious, malicious, militia <laughs> unit, uh, so that um, I just have enough divisions so I can send you volunteers. I'm really short on infantry equipment at the moment, though. Oh, well, I don't have factories anymore. Uh, it's at, whoa, American democracy has ended troubling. Well, I don't know. As Michael Collins, I would say I just see another army general who understands he needs to keep his... Uh... Okay, you should be getting the pop-up now. Uh, he's, he's just trying oh, to yes. hold his nation together. Oh, yep, you see, minus 1% consumer goods and resource gain efficiency plus 6%. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, Okay. now uh, accept it so I can take the next focus. I did. All right, great. Now, um, are you going to start the Civil War right away? Like, did you go for... Um, are you going for Protector of Democracy or Destroy Domestic Enemies? I did Protector. Okay, so that um, means the Civil War is going to start here soon, so I cannot take technological cooperation. But that's fine. That means I can take other things. Like industry for Ireland. I can always delay it though. Uh, oh, I already selected the focus. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's just, it's okay. Oh. It's because I was thinking about taking the technological cooperation, um, mm. and, because I can't take it if the American Union state and the combined syndicates exist. But it's fine. We, we'll just take take it after the war because there's a, it's not a super great bonus. Yeah, like I can get the same bonus by taking the Scientific Innovation Council. I was just, it now means you're not going to be able to go down those parts of your tree until 1939 or so. Oh, well, it's fine. There's plenty of other things for me to do. Uh, because, I mean, as soon as the Civil War happened anyway, I'd be blocked from this section. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, what I'm going to just, so I'm going to instead work on my economy. Like, the economy, the political questions of the day, things like that. Because I, from my experience, I usually like delay the war to like beginning of January to late January. Uh huh. Just so that way I can use their factories to make military factories. And, uh. Right. Play it. No, that's a good idea. Okay. <clears throat> Getting almost half a political point a day. Oh yes, I now have eleven militia divisions. So that <laughs> means I'm gonna win this war. Yeah, well they're good. They're good. Those cheap ones are good for holding the Mississippi and stuff like that. Yeah, and I mean it's only like 300 infantry equipment for one of these divisions. So. Mm-hmm. Gonna get rid oh, of I did. I never realized there were pre Veltkrie carriers till I played as the United States. Yeah, which doesn't really make sense. I don't think there were aircraft carriers before World War One. Yeah, guess um how many uh planes it can. Uh, like ten. Yes, ten. Oh, uh, that's it. Oh, I just got the trade with the <laughs> USA bonus, so. Uh, the opening of trade has improved my economy and I get plus 25 political power. Well, I guess I'm declaring martial law. <laughs> like, oh boy, here I go declaring martial law again. <laughs> this will never go wrong. What's Mexico? I'm just gonna. The days of violence can wait till January. We don't need that here. <laughs> All right. Well, Mexico went for Pancho Villa, so keep an eye on your southern border. Great. No, I actually have had a couple test games where I refused the Mexicans' demands, and then they just never attacked. Yeah, I feel they, they just accepted it. Yeah, I think they should. If they don't, here, this is just my opinion, but if they do not go social democratic, which that, I think that's the only one that doesn't allow them to attack the United States, there should be like a 5% chance at most that they don't attack. Yeah. It, it should be like anytime you're playing as the United States and you look south and you don't see the, the pre in charge, you need to be panicking. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay. That'll just mean I'll have a nice puppet. Hmm. 
Yeah. Nice Mexican puppet. So, I mean, they do have oil. And, uh, yep. I have to get all of the world's oil. Yep. If not you, then who? Alright, uh, let's see. We got an industry initiative. I'm going to... Sear, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go maximum investment to see if these things are gonna pay off for me. Hopefully it will. Yeah. Oh yes, I have three Liberian divisions. This is a good day. <laughs> oh, the part your puppet. Yes. Because I, I bailed them out. Okay, Irish immigration from 1936 to 1937. Uh, the world was mostly at peace, though. Yeah, I think there was like one short war, but I just got some more manpower in all of my counties. Not much, though, but it added up to like 1,500 or so uh, recruitable. Oh. Oh, dang. Well, Reed declares the worker state. The disaster has begun. What? Um, who would have seen this coming? This was nobody could have seen this coming. It's unbelievable. Uh, well, I guess I should just go ahead and click the event. Actually, hold on. Is a factory about? No, dang. Okay. So I'm probably going to need a pause here in a second. Yeah, do what you got. To, yeah, I know, I know that you're going to get a ton of pop-ups all at once, and you do. You need to do a lot of things. So whenever you have to pause, that's fine. Oh, shit, that didn't work. Oh, man. I just made a little mistake. Darn, how dare Cuba take Guantanamo? Yeah, I'm getting all the pop-ups. Where else am I going to put my prisoners? Okay, Germany decided to finally fix its economy a little bit, so I'm doing better. You see, the problem with the political power is that you get 200 for declaring war on the AUS and the CSA. Mm -hmm. So you get 400 political power immediately. Well, what you could do is you click one, spend it, and then click the other. Well, it stacks. I s oh, oh gosh. Everything was fine, and then all of a sudden, I got like six different pop-ups. Yeah, like you're getting. I love. I hope they never change the language. By the way, where MacArthur, when the divisions come up, and it just says, "Rise, my minions." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. This corn cob. Oh, here's to hoping I can hold St. Louis. I'm actually just gonna, yeah, keep two guys specifically there. Yeah, that that you that tends just... to be enough in my experience because you've got the river covering you to the north and the east. Yeah. The the main open straight. Oh yeah. And, and the main the main issue is when the when you get the uh, the syndicalist uprising in St. Louis, so then some divisions spawn directly inside of it. That's when yeah. things get a little scary. So that uh, event isn't guaranteed to happen, I've noticed. Yeah. Like, I've had a civil war where that event never popped. Mm-hmm. I think I'm about to officially run out of manpower. There it is. It's all gone. But that's fine. Since now the civil war has begun, I could take, uh... I could take reacting and then, um... Like basically, my next three focuses are going to be on helping you. And then I'll get more okay. recruitable population. Damn, they all take 70 days. Oh, wait, no, one of them only takes 14 days. So in, like, a month and change, I could send you some help. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, the PSA got Alaska. Oh, excellent. Good. Good. At least it's not in those dirty Canadians' hands. Yeah. 
we don't want people. Also, I like how to make up for being at war with Mexico, the game gives you like two National Guard units. Yeah, right. Just some good old boys in the south who are like, we don't want no doggone Mexicans ruling us. Yo. Also, I haven't gotten an event to go to war with the PS. I think they have to click some events first, so just be careful about where you're clicking so you don't accidentally select something you don't want. Yeah. Oh, uh, Japan's the doing the look show. Oh, yeah. but I was going to say real quick, the uh, Japan is doing the Showa Restoration. I think what? That, I think that's only the second time I've ever seen the AI take that decision on its own. Wow. Ah, oh, it's okay. My Liberian divisions are here. I'll be invincible. <laughs> uh, I really want to just go to war with the PSA already. Are you at least getting your divisions over there? Oh, yeah, they're all there right now. Yeah, the key is to punch through to Sacramento and San Francisco, then you split them in half. Yep. It's usually actually pretty easy to get San Diego. They don't guard their southern border extremely well at first. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you don't have to go through mountains like Sacramento. Mm, that's a good point. That That is the thing that really slows things down. Oh, wait. I should probably get my one cavalry division over there. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Ooh, I think the American Union state's going to have a rough one. They didn't take Norfolk. Because what I've noticed is um, the American Union state can have a pretty decent showing against the CSA if they go across Chesapeake Bay. Hmm. Yeah, cause, or, or at least if they hold Norfolk, because uh, then the CSA is attacking across a stream, so it, it makes it very difficult. Washington's about to fall. No. Yep, just got the pop-up. Whatever up. shall I do? <laughs> I just realized this is the Kaiserreich version of MacArthur's I'll be b I shall return, but it's the Washington, not the Philippines. <laughs> oh, no. You know what, at least I didn't leave any troops in Washington. <laughs> you pulled out good. Oh, all right, well, I hope you don't have any troops in that pocket in the east. It just got closed. Oh, don't worry. I didn't have anyone over there. Good, 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 good. All right, I am now reacting to the Civil War, and then after that I will send you the IRA. Oh, good. That's what we need, some uh, freedom fighter. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, since I fortified Puerto Rico, it gave me another National Guard unit. Really? I don't remember that event, the Puerto Rico it, It's one. when uh, the Entente tries to take it from you. You can either give it to them or you can fortify it. Oh, okay. And I've never seen them declare war on me if I refuse to give it to them. Oh, very interesting. It's good. So now you got the Puerto Ricans. Oh, yeah. Nothing can stop me now. Mm -hmm. Gosh, the Kingdom of France is sending me units before you. What the <laughs> heck? Well, the Kingdom of France probably has more than 12 divisions. All right. Uh, That's a... IRA is 70 days away. It says America has collapsed into chaos with syndicalists and fanatics attempting to take over. Although our relations may not be the best, maybe we should still support the USA as a bulwark of stability against radicalism. Because MacArthur isn't radical. No, he's not. He's uh, he's as American as apple pie. <laughs> he's an extreme moderate. Uh, anybody who doesn't compromise will be hanged. 
desperate times, you know, yeah. cause desperate measures. That's all it is. <laughs> okay, but now that you've pulled... Oh, yes, 19 this... infantry divisions. <laughs> yeah. You only have 19 divisions? No, I'm making 19. Oh, okay, okay, because, um, yeah, I was... I just looked at you, and it says that you're between 38 and 59, so I was, I was confused. Something's not right here. Mm -hmm. It sucks that you can't join me during the war. <sighs> maybe, maybe once I get once I get some more factories up and running. Yeah, but you can't do the alliance till after the war because oh, you have yeah. to do the trade stuff, don't you? Yeah, I have to... Well, technically, I could go for a friend in Washington, because it only requires... It only requires either send the IRA or Atlantic Trade Commission. So after... But, oh. but the Civil War has to be oh, over. Oh, but this... Yeah. 